Hello. Hello. Welcome to the Valder BB Show Studios. Who do I have in the studio with me? This is Tamara Mori. Well, Tamara, thank you so much for joining us here in Dallas, Texas. Of course. I am so excited to talk with you. I've got some Facebook questions, and I'm going to start off with that. Okay. Well, my audience was so excited that they heard that you were coming and talking oh about goodness. being a parent. And yeah. Food. Well, thank you. Well, thank you. Okay. They want the, my first Facebook question. I okay. Get, they want to know which one you are. Uh, <laughs> okay. I'll tell you a little trick. I'm okay. Tamara, okay. and how you know the difference between my sister and I is Tamara think has an M in her name, okay. me, um, and I have a mole. So think okay. mole Tamara. That's how you. That's the easiest way you can tell. Okay. Yeah. Look at you guys have worked it all out for uh -huh. my audience. I mm -hmm. like that. Well, thank you and welcome. What do you do in the daytime that we see you all the time? Do we see you all the time? Yes, you do. And I am so grateful that I have the opportunity to to be on the real. The real is an awesome talk show, I think, uh, for, I think, all people of all different ages. We have a lot of fun. We're funny, but most importantly, we're real. We're outspoken. We're not going to give you our um, politically correct um, view on a topic. We're just ourselves. We have amazing chemistry, and I, I think we're funny, and well, we have we a lot of fun. You. I love seeing all the women together. That Thank is you. Just such a delight to Thank uh, you. Uh, hopefully a lot of my viewers and I also too. Thank now, you. I think you're going to have your second baby. Am I correct in that? I already had my baby. You I had my yes. I I've had been gone all summer. Okay. So oh, you it's had okay. The baby? Yes, I had the baby in the summer. What she did you have? is uh, a girl. She's a girl. She was born July 1st, and she is. Oh, I'm missing her right now. She is amazing. I. I I am so grateful. I, I have two amazing kids. I have a boy and a girl. I think I might be done, but for some reason, everyone is sensing I might have a third. I don't know, but uh, I, I enjoy I enjoy it. I love being a mom. There are some challenges, of course, but I, I love it. It's such a well, blessing. Well, we're going to move on to, to cooking for those kids, yes. but I can tell you probably have more. When you love your husband, <laughs> <laughs> yes. That, that's the key. That is really the key. That you know, is. We have, I just have to tell you, my husband and I have four kids. I wow. really wish I would have had ten because this is how much I love him. I, I know, have, right? I know. So hold on. Let me tell you. <laughs> hold on. Okay. Tell me about cooking for these kids as they grow up and, and, oh and my get goodness. older. Um, well, it's very important. Uh, research and studies have found to get your kids into the kitchen with you, mainly because it helps create a family bond, something that I think families really want and some families are lacking right now. Um, it also helps the kids create amazing family memories that they can keep forever and pass down to their new families. It also helps kids um, create healthier eating habits when you're cooking with, with your mom and dad or you know your, your family at a very young age they learn these life skills that would just help them in the future and I know for me I always like to find fun new ways that Aiden can learn um, whether that's reading counting um, learning different shapes and sizes and you can do that in the kitchen actually um, one, you can use cookie cutters. Cookie cutters has so many, they have so many different shapes and sizes, even, you know, numbers. You can find number cookie cutters um, that you can help your child, you know, learn as you're learning to cook as well. I know Aiden likes to use cookie cutters when I make him pancakes. Um, you can also use cookie cutters when uh, you make rice. Um, they can learn fun little um, shapes and sizes of animals at the same time. Uh, you can also have your kids use, um, of course, kid-friendly scissors to cut fresh herbs. I know in my family, especially my husband, he's obsessed with cooking with fresh herbs. And to get the kids involved, just have them, you know, cut them and then have them, uh, you know, like sprinkle them over some salads, put them in some salad dressings. Um, right here we have a vegetable and rice um, lettuce wrap. And I mean, look how easy this is. And it's fun. And they're learning and at the same time. And delicious, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Uh, very, very good. Mm -hmm. And also let them dress up? Yes, you can have them dress up as a chef. You can, you know, give them a little fun apron, um, a little cooking uh, mitt, and also I, I like to wear the little chef hats when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> That's so very, very cute. Do you have a contest to go along with thank helping you people so much. inspire? Uh, yes, but thank you so much. Make sure you go to um, UncleBins.com. UncleBins.com? Yes. I thank you so very much. Anything else you want us to know? Nope. <laughs> oh, no reboot on Sister Sister? <laughs> I've got to go. Thank you so much. Thanks for Thank being you. my guest today. Bye.